Uh, so Bob's question was, uh, does the order of this matter? This, these wouldn't matter, the order of these. When you go into the app YAML, the order matters. But uh, these, the order doesn't matter. That's said with 92% certainty. <laughs> um, so we can look at, uh, see you, Ruben. See you. We can look at, uh, we can look at the documentation to see how that's laid out. So what we're looking for is muxes. And that's going to be in the HTTP package. So we could go to godoc.org forward slash net HTTP. And, uh, and then routing, we're looking for servmux right here. And the servmux is HTTP request multiplexer. It matches the URL of each incoming request against a list of re registered patterns and calls the handler for the pattern that most closely matches the URL, right? So this is a, uh, calls the handler, this is the handler, for the pattern that most closely matches the URL. So patterns name uh, fixed rooted paths like this are rooted subtrees. So here's a fixed rooted path. Just give me that one thing. Here's a rooted subtree with a trailing slash, right? Note the trailing slash. Longer patterns take precedence over shorter ones. All right, so if you have something more specific, this is going to take precedence over that. These both matched when I when I asked for forward slash cat forward slash something else, but this one's longer and more specific, All right? So longer patterns take precedence over shorter ones. Uh, images, images, thumbnails. The latter handler will be called for the past beginning with images for thumbnails. So that's uh, that's serve mux. So now I thought it'd be uh, interesting just to kind of look at the different pieces that are here and see uh, how they work. I did this before with a presentation, so maybe it's a little bit better to look at the presentation because it's uh, laid out a little bit more clearly, and then we could go straight to the docs after that. So um, let me just see which one that would be. All right, so this is a uh, presentation 30 in the slide deck. And uh, you know, as we previously saw, parsing each HTML manually is brutal, and package net HTTP is here to make life easier. Okay, so the doing it manually was this route, right? And we didn't even build in the routing, though we could could have started down that road to handle different endpoints. But we can use package net HTTP. HTTP server, we can use uh, to create an HTTP server. Remember, it's still on top of TCP. And so uh, HTTP listen and serve. I'm just kind of curious what happens when we go look at that. HTTP listen and serve. And here, listen and serve listens on the TCP network address, address and then calls serve with handler to handle requests on incoming connections. Serve with handler, right? Listen and serve. And it's, uh, I'm sorry, I'm looking for this code right here. Uh, this port on TCP and this handler. So that's something called a handler. So we'll see what that is in a second. Still on top of TCP. Sorry. Um, that's the answer what a handler is. So if we look for what a handler is, handle Type handler, okay? So handler is an interface, and it's anything with this method. So anything with that method is a handler. And so you saw here we have Uptown, right? Uh, that's actually a little bit of a jump right there. So we'll see. We'll see how we create handlers. So that's a handler funk. So it's uh, pretty close. So, uh, so here we go. Let's just keep going. The servers receive requests and send back responses. So here we have HP listen and serve, and var h my handler, right? This could be any variable name, but I created a type just arbitrarily, and then I attach that type the serve HTTP method, right, with that signature. So again, if we're looking at like what makes a handler. Anything with this method, serve HTTP, response writer, request, 
anything with that method becomes a handler. And so here I have some type, and then I attach with this receiver, a value receiver, uh, this method, serve HTTP, with this signature, a response writer and a request. That makes it that makes it implement the handler interface, right? And so this is now a handler. So I can now say, okay, create an instance, not, sorry, not an instance, but create a variable of this type. And I can pass that in as a handler. So listen and serve listens on a port. Listen and serve. Uh, listens on the TCP network address. Address, and then calls serve with handler, handler, to handle requests on incoming connections. And then handler once again, right? Is anything with this method? All right. So I need a TCP address, right? I just need an address. Listens on TCP at this address, and I need a handler that's going to handle what happens when people go to that address. And so here, I've got the address. Sorry, wrong code. Here I've got the address, and here I'm giving it a handler. And for something to be a handler, it needs this method. Does that make sense? Hi, Janelle. Sure. Come on in. Hi, you want to do some coding? Oh, yeah. I'm all or have some chocolate? Uh, no, I don't want any chocolate. What's happening? Okay. Yeah, 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 because you use the method, that, that, that's what makes. Yeah, so we didn't get to interfaces yet, right? Like we didn't, we kind of like, we were going through uh, this. I'm just wondering why I don't see the word handler. I see my handler. Yeah, we were going through this code base and we're going through all these presentations and then somewhere right, you know, around uh, types, you know, we were doing that last week and then. Okay, let's jump forward. I did some cool things at Silicon Valley Code Camp. I presented at Code Camp over the weekend. You missed that on Tuesday. You weren't here. And uh, I put together this other pathway, and it's pretty cool. So let's just look through that pathway because I think you guys have enough foundation to start understanding this. And one of the things we haven't really spent any time with previously, right, up in this stuff were interfaces. And so that's right here, interfaces. And so that's what you're kind of uh, hitting. And so that's a really good question. So let's stop and talk about interfaces.